Actually, let me take off my socks. More comfortable to be barefoot on the mat. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do the double leg from an orthodox position. Both of us are right-handed, so typically if we're fighting, we're going to stand with the right foot behind us. All right? So first rule is if I can touch him, I can shoot on him. All right? If I can jab him, I can shoot on him. If I can kick him, I can shoot on him. If I'm a little too far, I don't want to shoot because I might hit my, my knee dead center on the, on the ground and it's easier for him to sprawl and just push me away, okay? So here we go. First thing we got to do is drop levels. We lower our level kind of towards, like, towards his chest area, okay? Second thing is going to be I'm going to push off my back leg and with my lead leg, I'm going to come in heel, toe, drop my knee far under his, uh, the crotch area as possible. Heel, toe, knee, boom. If I hit my shoulder on his stomach, that's a deep shot, which is a good shot. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to snake my hands behind his legs here, keep my head nice and heavy on his ribs. I don't want to have it down because he can push me down or he can guillotine me, right? And also, this gives me a lot of leverage to, to push on the, on the takedown. Even if I had no hands, just my head itself is very powerful. So drop levels, push off the back leg, heel, toe, knee, deep. Head strong, snake the hands. This back leg here is gonna come around, across. I'm gonna lift this leg off the ground in order to push him towards my left. Here, and I'm gonna take him that way. Boom, till we get the takedown. Okay? <coughs> One more time. If I can touch him, I can shoot on him. If I can hit him, I can shoot on him. Kick him, I can shoot on him. Drop my levels, push off the back leg. Heel, toe, knee with the lead leg, okay? Heel, toe, knee, boom, nice and deep. Head nice and strong. Snake these hands, back leg comes across, and I'm gonna drag them, take them towards my left, not straight back. And the big thing is I don't wanna take them towards the side of my head, cause he'll fall on top of my own head, so I'm gonna put his weight on my head. So I don't wanna say I picked him up, I don't wanna take him towards me, I wanna take him away from my head. All right, here I am, back leg comes across, and I drive them towards my left, away from my head. Boom. I drop level, a good time to do a double is when the, the guy, I either snap him down, he pops up, and then I shoot in. Or we're striking, and he throws a punch. Boom, so I come under the punch. Heel, toe, knee, <coughs> nice and deep. Back leg, snake the hands, back leg comes across. Lift this knee up, because I'm gonna drive him that way. Drive him. Try to end up on side control each time. So a double leg takedown from either striking position or wrestling position. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is a sprawl. We worked the double, and now we're gonna do the sprawl, okay? Sprawl is basically eliminating the takedown on him when he got into my legs. So here we are again. Kevin is able to touch my head, so he shoots in on me. So he shoots in for a double, come in, boom. Now that he's in so deep, what I wanna do is with my hands, I want to push his head down and I want to drop my hips on the back of his, of his shoulders and his back, heavy. So I want his head, hopefully, ideally, to hit the ground hard. So I'm going to drop down like an avalanche and I'm going to spread the back of my legs. So I'm going to be, boom. The wider I spread my legs, the more I keep my chest on his, on his back and his head low, the better. The reason why I want to I keep my legs nice and spread is because if I keep them close, even though I sprawl them out, he can continue to drive and take me down. Not as dramatic, but at the end of the day, I still end up on my back. So the way it looks when you're sprawling is you're here, and you sprawl, boom. Hips down, nice and heavy, legs nice and spread. All right, <clears throat> one more time. We're here wrestling or striking, he shoots in. Here, I'm gonna drop my hips heavy, open up my legs, and I'm gonna do a split and cave his head to the mat. So boom, hold him here, okay? From here, again, you can do knees, Depends on what you're doing. You can do chokes from here, or you can spin and take the back. Okay? <coughs> so spin and take the back? Spin and take the back? Okay. One more time. Here we go. He shoots, Kevin shoots in. Heel, toe, knee, right? Boom. Spin. When I, here I have him in the headlock position. Keep him here for a second, because he can pick up this arm, so, right, to stop my back control. So what I'm going to do is with the head that's under his neck, I'm going to bring it out to block his tricep here as I swing. So the arm by his armpit, I mean by his neck, is gonna come across to trap the tricep here. So like I'm gonna do like a, like a swimming kind of motion. Here, 
as I spin. Okay? Here when I spin, whichever, I'm gonna try to get the lead hook in. Now I wanna drive him towards the leg that I have hooked. Okay? So dropping him here. That way I have space for this other hook to come in here. Heels heavy, don't cross your feet. Boom. Take the back control. 